what's up y'all this is gonna be a quick one so look i'm scrolling down my feed and i see this thumbnail and the title says that this number this 443 number has been disconnected and for those of y'all who have been keeping abreast to what is going on you know that this phone number was a part a big part of a puzzle with a bunch of missing fucking pieces right okay so in my opinion rita has a daughter who's missing and she doesn't know where she is so as far as i'm concerned right now she gets a pass and she can do whatever the fuck she wants off of impulse as for the rest of us some of us really got to work on boundaries and exercising those boundaries okay and i'm not surprised that this number is disconnected for many reasons one of them is because hundreds of people decided that it was a good idea to reach out to him and call him not knowing who the fuck he is or if he has la la or if he doesn't to drill him and grill him about a bunch of fucking questions let me explain let's think from a mind of a criminal right now somebody who's out here obviously mentally fucked up and mentally ill and is in the middle of some shit you hear me because he's gonna fuck around if if the situation goes in a way that we don't want it to go it's going to be considered as kidnapping and you can get just as much time for kidnapping as you can for a murder and as soon as i saw rita display this publicly my first instinct was to leave a comment saying look y'all do not call that number because if he does have Lala, the last thing we want to do is trigger him or agitate him. Why? Because one, he has the upper hand. He's the aggressor. And he had the opportunity to hurt her if that was the case. And two, that was a step closer to finding out where the fuck she is. Because they could have tracked it. But now they can't. It's disconnected. Not only that, he's had the whole damn day to transport her and move her from one location to the next because everybody gave him the heads up. <sighs> one of the worst decisions you can make in life is to be too eager to rush your opponent. Your adrenaline is already pumping. You're already pissed. You already in go mode. You don't want to fuck up your opportunity to be able to get through that window. You don't want to miss your window. And right there, that was the window. That was the time that we needed to be able to keep her still. And in a situation like this, it's real fucked up and real disrespectful to have more chiefs than there are Indians. Let her mother do the leading and the guiding, please. Shit. <laughs> Let her do it. Don't belittle her by disrespecting her because she's not moving the way that you would move in this situation. It's not your call. But I'm on my way to bed, y'all. And before my head hit the pillow, my knees going to hit the floor. And I'm going to pray that the rest of the moves, maneuvers, and twists and turns throughout this process are made in silence. So just keep thanking God and speak positivity into existence. And I'm going to holler at y'all soon.